I'm gonna share with you 25 of the best organizing products, like real life solutions to help you stay tidy and a few of the absolute worst. Okay, I'm gonna start with my favorite and work my way down. This is called the multi-purpose bin. And I use this bin honestly everywhere. I know it's clear, but listen, this is why I love it. It's so tall and deep that it works in all those like hard to reach spaces like pantries, under your kitchen sink, in your fridge, organizing your freezer. It will never crack. And it's an incredible price. These start at $5.99. I have never found another bin that comes even close to the function of this multi-purpose bin. My next favorite organizer of all time, it's kind of weird, but this tea organizer, we love tea in this house. We drink a lot of tea and here's why I love it. One box is one little compartment. So this one little organizer holds eight boxes of tea. I also love like taking it down and opening it up. I feel like, I don't know, I, I keep saying it feels like I have my life together, but this little organizer does, it feels like bougie or something, you know? It's really cheap too, and it just keeps my cabinet really organized. These are another new organizer that I've just been using recently, and I am obsessed with them. These bamboo drawer organizers, they're like completely adjustable. You get a pack of three or even more from Amazon, really inexpensive, but if you have pullouts or a drawer like I do, it's customizable and it's easy to kind of move things around. So when you take all your snacks or whatever it is that you're organizing out, you can keep it super neat and tidy, keeping it snug because you can easily adjust these drawer dividers. These are a must in your kitchen. This alpha over the door rack, it is so easy to install. It's a really good price, but it's the most like sturdiest, back of the door organizer I've ever found. I am obsessed with them. And I think anytime you have a door, you should have a door organizer on it for cleaning supplies, for extra bathroom, create a pantry, anything you wish you had more storage for. This is literally the perfect solution and it's customizable. So add baskets or hooks or pegboards, whatever you need, you do need one of these. Okay, seriously, this runs my life because I have ADHD. I feel like even if I didn't, I, how do people live without an echo? I set reminders. I, it reminds me of the calendar. I add things to my shopping cart. It plays music. It is the greatest thing. It's my alarm clock every morning. It adds things to my calendar. So if I'm like, I don't want to say it because if I say it, it's going to add it to your calendar, but you say the word and then you add whatever it is that you want to do it runs my life. I don't know how I could function without an Amazon Alexa in every room of my house. One of the worst organizing products are those three drawered plastic units. You know, it's what I'm talking about. I don't hate them in concept. Actually, I like stacking drawers. Why I don't like these are because if anything gets heavy put in them, you can't open the drawers below. Plus they don't open very wide. So it's really hard to store anything at all. Basically these always turn out to just be crap catchers. A three tiered car. A three tiered cart is one of these organizing solutions that literally can be used for anything in any room, anywhere you need more storage. I have this one here in my front entranceway closet for all of like entertaining stuff. So paper plates and cups and napkins and cutlery. So I can just wheel it outside when we're entertaining, but we also love it as a home workstation. Milo and Abby both have had them for markers and papers and binders and everything they need to do their homework or craft right beside them. It's visual and it's the perfect organizing solution when you're short on space. I'm cramped back in this tight corner here. I banged my head to show you this organizer here from Amazon. It is, I got like the three wire stackable hung right on the wall. You can get as many as you want and make like your own custom organization, but it's perfect for peppers, potatoes, tomatoes, all those veggies from your gardens or fruit, anything you need more space for, especially in the kitchen. I definitely recommend this affordable, super sturdy organizing solution. 
clutter catcher. I feel like this is one thing that everybody needs. This is just a basket from Amazon. It wasn't expensive. I put it on the kitchen counter to catch all the crap that I would normally just put on the counter. I even ran a cord and I charged pennies like collar in there, any type of anything goes in my clutter catcher. So I know where it is, but it makes it invisible. It hides the clutter. I think every kitchen needs a basket just like this. This is another one of my new favorite things. I'm all about having a command center in your home. So a place that kind of manages your schedule, maybe a place for paper. We have paper sorted. So this calendar and chore chart, it was crazy cheap. It's magnetic and it has a ton of different colored markers. So I'm actually using this. You can see no one's checked off the chores yet. But in theory, my kids are gonna do more chores because of this, and this is definitely something I recommend. I'm definitely not a huge decanter, but I think everyone should decant their spices. I picked up these jars really inexpensive on Amazon. Here's why I love decanting spices. One, it saves a ton of space. It really makes it more functional because everything's uniform so you can find what you're looking for fast. But more than that, it makes cooking feel more enjoyable. It makes you feel like a professional chef or something. It gives you that space that feels in control. And I'm a person who doesn't love cooking, but when I open up and look at all my organized spices, it just makes the whole thing much more fun. You gotta give this a try. Now that I've talked about how much I love spice jars, I wanna talk about one of what I think is the worst organizers, which are those little pucks, those magnetic pucks for organizing spices that go in the side of a fridge. I don't love them because A, they're very small. They don't hold a lot of your spices. But the second thing is they're just awkward to use. You kind of have to put them down flat to use them and make sure that none of the spices are around the rim so you're not getting a mess all over the place. And then you have to store them back on their side. So again, the spices get trapped in the lid and it just causes a lot of head. It's like more work to use than it really should be. So I definitely do not recommend those spice jars. Ikea Calyx shelving, it's like my ride or die storage system. I'm obsessed with them and have been for 15 years. This is my go-to organizing solution, especially in small spaces. I like ditching the dresser in kids' room and going with cube shelving instead. But in offices, anywhere you need more storage, it doesn't take up a lot of floor space and it's really affordable. So this is such a great system that I definitely recommend, which leads me to my next favorite organizing product, which are these big sew boxes. Anytime you wanna organize paper or office supplies, a big sew box like this, listen, I love this system. I love, they come in lots of different colors. It's perfect for organizing paper or little supplies. You can stack them or you can get bigger ones. You can leave the lids off if you're a macro organizer like me. It's totally the sky's the limit. And these for me are a go-to organizing bin decanting containers. I'm lazy, so I don't love putting my food into a lot of little containers like this, but for things like flour, sugar, baking supplies, it makes sense. It really does keep it tidier and it's gonna keep it a lot fresher. So here's the thing though. There's these fancy pop containers, beautiful, super bougie, are they worth the extra money? Not really. These ones are really inexpensive from Amazon. You can get them at Walmart. They're super cheap, but they still keep things really fresh. So in my personal opinion, if you want to treat yourself, go with the pops. But if you're just looking for function on a price, go with one of these less expensive options. Can risers. Can risers, they really do make a difference. You can see all the stuff you have. And I like using these, of course, for my spices here in the pantry, even in the bathroom. I have this little clear can riser type thing for all of the extra products. They just honestly make your space a lot more functional. And I also love these water hyacinth baskets. These are my second favorite organizing bins of all time. They're super affordable. I get mine from the container store. They start at around $14, but they will last you your entire life. They're natural woven. They come in two different colors. They're great for toys or for food because they're so big and sturdy. You can store really heavy things in these bins and add a little clip to the front so you can add your own 
custom label, it is the perfect organizing solution for any space in your home. I can't talk about organizing without talking about labeling because labeling is magic. So I was so excited when Epson Label Works sent me all their new labels. The thing I love most about this is that you can design your custom labels in the app. You can choose your fonts. They have so many different beautiful frames for you to choose from. You can really make the label of your dreams and not just a basic white label either. There's a ton of different colors. There's metallic. There's also magnetic tape so you can make a chore chart. It's really the sky is the limit. And what's incredible is that they're a really small division of Epson, a global company. They only have about 30 employees in Wisconsin. So if you you call for customer service, you're speaking to an actual person. And if you have a problem with the label maker, you send it back and they send you a new one. It has a lifetime warranty. Pretty incredible. I'm going to put a link down below and I'm going to pin it in a comment if you want to learn about this awesome Epson Label Works. Okay, one of the worst organizers I've ever used are those toy organizers that you can get at big box stores where the plastic bins are just precariously balanced on this little wire or wooden kind of organizing shelf. They're a nightmare, especially if you have little kids because they're always dumping the bins. If you bump into this thing, the bins will fall off and make a huge mess. They're definitely like mess makers instead of organization, and I recommend you stay away from them. I am very excited about this hook. We've lived in the house for almost a month and here in the bathroom, there was no place for wet towels or like pajamas or robes. So it was always on the floor or just getting tossed into the laundry. If you don't have hooks like this in your bathroom, this is a must, but they're not just for the bathroom. A simple wall hook is one of the greatest organizing solutions of all time for all the clothes that are dirty, but not dirty enough to wash, like jeans or sweaters, you need a hook. For your purse, for your kids backpacks, a hook like this, even reusable shopping bags, this is going to change your space. Lazy Susans are pretty incredible. They're great for organizing, you know, your fridge or a cabinet, but I really, really love these ones that are kind of deep for your bathroom products. Put all your pain relievers and your antacids, your allergy medication, even your vitamins. You can see it, it's really visual, but pop it in a cabinet and it makes it incredibly organized. Okay, this, not this particular bin, but this size bin is one of my favorite organizing solutions. Plastic ones from the dollar store. Anytime you can get a bin that's basically one cubic foot, it's perfect for toys, clothing, bathroom products, any space, any shelf will fit these. And so you can just go and get a bunch of inexpensive ones and know that it can be a great solution for every space in your home. So this is definitely like this size bin is one of my all time favorite organizing products. Okay, this is a little bit of an investment. I used to have mismatch hangers, then I went with all the cheap white ones. I had tried velvet in the past and they kind of snapped and broke, so I thought that they were a waste. But investing in good quality velvet hangers, it changes your closet, man. They are so thin that you can fit like a lot more clothing. Plus, because they're non-slip, your clothes aren't gonna fall off the hangers and make a mess on the floor. So it's gonna actually keep your closet tidy, more organized, save you space. I think this, though I'm not, I'm cheap, you guys. I am cheap. This is an investment that you will not regret. I got this mirror jewelry organizer from Amazon years ago. I have loaded it. This is one of my favorite organizing solutions I've ever bought. I have a lot of necklaces and earrings and it just has everything, even my scarves in one place, but it's also a functional mirror. So I'm using it in the bathroom to get ready every day and then I open it up and I have all my accessories. This is seriously an amazing organizing tool. Now for one of the worst organizing products. I might get some hate for this one, but anytime you have little containers like this, little jars, you know, you go to the dollar store and you bees and crickets are all, look at the little jars. Every home I've ever decluttered have had empty little containers like this in abundance. Because the truth is, the only thing these are good for is maybe paper clips, maybe some little beads or craft supplies, and that's about it. Nothing else fits in these, and yet we buy them. Or we keep all our pill containers, like our empty... 
There's nothing you can organize with something that's that tiny. These are a big no for me. My garage was a hot mess sandwich. Ignore it. But I wanted to show this sports rack to you because it's perfect for not only sporting equipment, but any of that outdoor stuff that can just become clutter, whether it's balls or gloves or tools that you want to use or even pool toys. A sports rack like this is absolutely perfect. Weatherproof totes. They're not like a typical tote. They actually have a seal in them that keeps out all moisture. So you don't have to worry about mold or bugs or rodents getting in. So if you're storing things in a garage, in a basement, in an attic, a weatherproof weather seal tote like this is definitely an incredible product to have. Magazine racks. These are amazing, especially if you're visual and you tend to pile paper or you have paper that you need to deal with, but you don't want to forget about it, like bills that have to be paid. Putting it on the wall in a magazine rack just like this, it's going to save space, it's going to stop the clutter, and it's a great reminder of things you have to deal with. Drawer dividers, especially these clear ones. I'm pretty much obsessed with, you cannot have a drawer without drawer dividers, or you shouldn't anyways, especially the ones that come in lots of different sizes so you can get that custom look for your drawer. It's just gonna keep it neat, especially if you're like me and you're kinda lazy and you just toss things away. The drawer dividers will catch your clutter and keep it organized and tidy all the time. They even have these at the dollar store, so it's not about the money, you gotta get some of these. And last but not least, I definitely think you and everyone needs a tidy tote. I love this tote. I just got it from Amazon. I had another one before, but it's a place to keep all of the cleaning supplies you use while you're running around cleaning your house. Also, it has a spot for your rags and wet rags and trash bags, but I love that it has this big opening in the middle. So when I'm walking around cleaning the house and I come across something that doesn't belong, I just put it in the tidy tote. And as I move from room to room, I empty the tidy tote to where they belong. So I'm not distracted. I'm staying in one place and it really does, like it makes cleaning your house more organized. So this is something I absolutely recommend. I want to know your favorite organizer, so let me know in the comments below if there's a product that you use and love so I can give it a try and so everybody watching can give it a try too. It's these little things, these little like solutions that just make our lives easier. I'm so grateful for all 25 of these things because every single day my house is tidier and I am way more efficient. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. Uh, last weekend, I went apple picking and like to a pumpkin patch. I love this place. We go every single year and they have a little haunted house. So Abby went with her friends and I was with Milo and my mom and her friend Vicky joined us. And they're both like in their 70s. And I assured them that the haunted barn was not scary because it had never been scary before. They have like some dollar store things and you walk down and they play ominous music. This year, the apple orchard stepped up their game. Milo decided not to go through. We went through just my mom and Vicky and I. I've never screamed so much and so loud and so long in my entire life. It was pitch black old barn, dirt floor. You're feeling your way through while they have like ominous, scary music. You can hear other people ahead of you screaming, okay? And then while it's pitch black, things are jumping out at the and like getting your feet. You know, they had pool noodles on hydraulics that would like whack you, just come out of the walls. And as you're going through, pitch black can see nothing. A car came out of the wall. I don't know how they did this, but like it honked its horn and its lights came on and it moved forward. I screamed till I was hoarse. My mom and Vicky are screaming and cowering. They had like air blowing in your face. They did a really good job. I was terrified, but halfway through, I heard some like crying, some like little whimpering. And I'm like, shh, 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 do you hear that? Mom's like, yeah, it's monsters and demons. I was like, under the monsters and demons, it's little crying. So I took out my phone and I turned on my flashlight on my phone and there's two little kids cowering in the corner. <laughs> I don't know how long they were in there crying, but 
<laughs> That's trauma. They'll be talking about that to their therapist for a long, long time. So I kind of, you know, helped them out. They weren't with their parents. They were maybe 10. But every year, this haunted house has never been scary. So their parents are probably like, oh, it'll be fun. They've probably done it every year. This year, they brought the nightmares. So anyways, my point of this story is you should go to a haunted house. You should bring your parents. Did they pe pee their pants? Probably. But it's memory-making moments, you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you like haunted houses or if you're like me and don't like them. But after you've done them, you're kind of glad you did. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.